As a wedding photographer and portrait photographer, it's very important for me to produce pictures. A photographer must produce pictures so I can present my story the way I captured it on the day. For me, the most important part is how good the quality of the book and the presentation is. Uh, so my favorite selection is the Young Book. Young Book is made by Graphi Studio, made in Italy. It is amazing. It's customizable. It is slick. It is modern. It looks amazing. It looks like a practically a hardcover fashion magazine book. So it's it's very much similar to this. So I'm gonna show you how I design the layouts and how I import it to to Graphi software and how I send it to Italy for it to be produced and return it back to me. The Young Book is an amazing concept. It's been with us about two years now. Uh, since we, this came, we, we no more do the traditional album, which is heavy, bulky, and out of date. The Young Book has a beautiful box made out of a wooden box. And there are so many different options, as you see it in front of you. There are, there you can have different covers, different textures, you can print on the cover, you can even print pictures on the cover, on the insert of the box, as you see it on this picture. It's just amazing. Here's a beautiful example uh, designed by the daughter of Graphi Studio Tulio. It's, it's, a, it's a textured flowers all over the box and inside the matching in the album. It looks amazing. So it's very much, you can create whatever you want. Make sure if you do something like this, put in the note that what you are trying to achieve. It can be very simple black and white, it can be colorful. If it's a wedding, do it white. If it's a um, pregnancy, you can do colors of the, the what the girl wants or what the, the child's, if they know what the child's sex is. Uh, you see, this is a Tiffany green. So it's it just, so many options. You see, this has a picture also on the insert page. You can even have the colors match on the edges of the book, like you see it here. So the option is unlimited, the ribbons and everything. It's, it's a very classy, very high-end product. There's nothing like it and there will be nothing like it because Graphi always produces the most beautiful albums. And for me, album is the most important product. Without an album, I'm not a photographer. After I've designed the layouts, I will open the pages in Photoshop. I will apply a filter, make sure the colors are perfect. This is the final view apply the filters and then flatten the images, save them as JPEG in another folder. And that folder is ready to go to the Graphi Studio software so I can make sure that the cropping everything is right and then to the next stage. Make sure that everything is perfect, uh, the colors and everything, the presentation is a spread. Now for the text on the book cover or on the box or anything like that, we need to prepare a PNG file. PNG means the background is transparent. So I can create the text, make sure that the background is transparent, make sure that the size is correct and save this as a PNG. So we keep the background transparent. So if I need it to be raised, if I need it to be foiled, it's separated from the background. So it will be easy for Graphi Studio to produce the text on the book cover or the box cover. Once I've designed the layouts uh, and flattened them into JPEG formats uh, to the to the style I want, I will I will open the Graphi software, which is a free software actually. You can download from the Graphi Studio Trade area. Uh, I, I name the file in the bride's and groom's surname. Uh, I select 
the orientation of the page, uh, which in this case is a vertical album, and import all the files that I've designed for the album. Each file is a spread, so I have 40 files for this album, it's 80 pages, and import them into the software. Once I import it into the software, I individually drop them into the software to make sure that the cropping, um, the edges, everything is perfectly laid out. Once I've finished with the layout and check everything is perfect, I'm ready to send it to the to Graphic Studio in Italy. So what I do is I save the file and then I save, I save and compress the files. So the compressed files will have all the information which is ready to go to the Graphic Studio. Now let's go to the next stage. So the next stage is to enter our password on the Graphy Studio page. Then we will have this, uh, sometime we'll have this pop-up offering us specials. Once we go past that, we will go into order form and we will select the profile we want to, to create for the, for the album. And the album I'm going to create is a young book. So with the young book, once I select it, there's a, there's a 2D page. I select the orientation of the album, which is a vertical album, the size, and then uh, the number of pages. So this is 40 spreads, 80 pages. So we'll enter 80. Once we've done that, we come to, to the selection of the paper. So there's few options there. I'm gonna select a Canon Deep Matte Touch paper. That's my favorite, uh, my clients love it. 80% of our sales is that paper. Then the thickness of the page, uh, usually keep it on thick page because that's quite a nice one. Uh, lamination, lamination option with this paper, it's already included. So the insert, the insert is the part of in between the cover and the book. So this is the insert page. The lining so we have to choose what lining color we want there's few options there so I, I, I've selected the white lining and then I will select the layout I've used the graphics software layout because it's going as a graphic software and there's an option also if you want color corrected you can select but I do all my color correction myself so that was the part of the book design, so actual pages and the lamination and the type of paper. Once we've done that, we will go to design the cover, the cover of the book. So this one is going to be a selection, a maple, a white maple. So we scroll down to the white maple and select it. So in the 2D, you will see the change of the color. So now it's a white maple. And I'm going to design the box itself. So let's go to the box. And this time I'm going to put the maple sage gray. It's a beautiful color. So it gives nice texture. So sage gray. So now we will see the change of the box color from white into the sage. There it is. And next is to design the inside of the box. So the inside where, where it's brown now. So I will. I will select the same color as the box cover. So it's gonna be the sage gray, maple. So there, there we go. So once we select it, the insert is designed. The last thing we have to design is the, the ribbon. With this album, I like to have a white ribbon because it's a white book. It will look nice and very classy. So let's go and select the white ribbon and the box the inside of the box and the book cover is now all designed. On the side, we will see all the prices up to this stage. And once I check that, I will, uh, I will now select another option, which is the parents book. So with this album, I'm going to order two parents book. It's uh, the printed hardcover. I'm going to select the textured paper. 
it's very much like an art paper. Now let's go to the next stage in the lamination. No, I don't want any lamination on the pages for this one, but I want a matte satin finish on the cover. So the cover will be matte satin finish. It looks very sleek and modern. We need to design the printed heartbreak design. So it's quite simple, white with black lines. So that's what I have here. So I will copy the file, file name and type it into the into the option they have in the software, which is here. Just type the file name so they know which file to print as a cover of the parent's book. Next, we go to the pocket book. I love to order pocket books so I can give it away as a gift to the clients. Plus, I can also use it as a brochure for future clients who like the style of this album and they want copies. Uh, they want to show it to the family and thing before they book us. So we will give them an option with this. So uh, I will select 16 books and this will update all the pricing on the right side. Once I've done this, I will save the book. So I will name the customer's name and I'm ready to the next stage. So next stage, I will go at the bottom here and select advanced design. Advanced design will give me the option of putting text on the cover, on the box or wherever I want, including also if I want to add pictures or perspex on any, any option like that. So this will open a new page. I will upload all my images. So it's, it's very important for text and any embellishments or anything to have a PNG file, which has a transparent background. So I will drop my files in there and import it. Easy, easy, just very simple. Import. So once it's been imported in the, it takes few few minutes to import, depending from the file size. I will start dropping the, the, the images. So let's start from the box cover. On the box cover, I've got this design here. So I'm going to drop it there. Resize. So just play around and have a look how it's going to look on the actual cover. So position it in the right place. Once you've done that, there will be a pop up menu on the side, which will give you an option of how I want this printed. You can have it printed as a color and raised varnishing or you can have a raised foil this one I'm gonna have a silver raised foil so click on the raised foil and select the silver button there so there's few options there few colors here they're very metallic and looks good very on the cover of the book Next, let's go to the design the internal of the page. Sometimes I use pictures on here, but with this album, I'm going to use just my logo. Again, position it where you want it, size it, and then the way I want it printed. So it can be black and white as a raised varnish. It can be color or it can be also foil. So this one is going to be silver foil, raised silver foil. So that's it. Okay, usually you'll see the logo, but, but because it's silver, you're, it's not visual, quite visual on this page. Okay, now, on, now next we go to the book cover, so the album cover. So this one, I have a different logo here, so I will size it exactly where I want it. Position it there. Once I'm happy, again, select raised foil and I'm going to do it silver again you can have other options of course so the the text on the box cover the insert and the book is all done now that I've added all these options on the right side again the details will change and there will be more information how much is how much extra spending on this book 
There it is, it's all perfectly done. Now it's time to check out. Make sure all the options are correct and click check out. When you click check out, you will put an order name. I usually put the customer's name and save. Okay, the next page it opens is the, the final page. I will check all the pricing, all the layout, everything, make sure that it's correct. If you want to add some information, some notes, just where it says not, just enter not. And then there's the option how you want to pay. It's credit card, PayPal or, or a bank transfer. Once you've done that, the file is ready to go. Here I'm going to show you how I can easily change the color of the book and the cover. So I'm going to select all white leather, just white leather, the box also white leather, the insert, I'll have a touch. And this time I'm going to, in the insert, I'm going to, this is an example, I'm going to include a picture in there and my logo at the bottom of the picture. So once I've done the selection, let's go with the black ribbon. And now let's go to the advanced design. Here again, we, we customize the text and everything. So let's start from the box cover. So bring my logo in, the silver foil again. So once it's been resized, next let's go to the internal of the box. And this is where I'm going to bring a picture. So after I've uploaded the picture. So this is where I will bring a picture. This is the inside of the book, uh, inside of the box. So basically when you open the box on the left side of the box, where I had a logo previously, this time I'm going to put a picture in there. So the picture is uploaded, all I do is drop the picture on the page, stretch it and resize it where I want it to be. There you go. It's color over printing here. And then I will drop my logo in there. So just position the logo where you want it. In this case, I'm going to take it at the bottom of the picture, size it. Beautiful, not too big, just nice and presentable, that's it. And this time I'm going to have color over print with varnishing. So it's going to be black with varnishing. So it's going to be raised. It's quite nice. When you touch it, you feel the raising. I simply have redesigned the book to a new look. It's a white leather, red silver, and insert box is with picture and my logo. Once I've done the selection and make sure all this page is correct with the prices and everything, uh, if I need to do notes, I will write the notes and then select the type of payment you want to do and then order. We come to the next page, which is, this is the page where we have to upload the, the album files, which was the compressed file. Plus, we're going to upload the cover for the parents book. So we drop it in there and click upload. And of course, it depends again how big your files are. It can start to continue to upload the file. And once it's uploaded, it will give us a message saying that thank you you're done easy thank you and then i will go to the to my work in progress page and on top it will show me that this order has been placed it has a tick there so it's all good and when i open it tomorrow i will see a progress bar where my order is the green progress bar tells me that the work is in progress and the yellow progress bar tells me that I've done something wrong. I need to check with them. So I click on that and the information 
is there for me to select the option. It, sometimes it's for the small pocket books or sometimes I've done measurements wrong. So Graphy will notify me. Next is wait for the album to arrive. Hi hey guys, I've got the album back, the one we designed together. And uh, it's a young book, vertical. It's looking amazing. And let's have a look at the pages. The book is very customizable with the cover plus the papers, the paper of choice. There's art papers, there's a photographic paper, indigo, and my favorite of course is the Canon HD. Uh, this is amazing quality, it's uh, Adobe RGB uh, profiled, so it captures all the colors. Uh, there's three choices we can make, it's the glossy, the matte, and touch. Uh, the uh, matte touch which is very soft and beautiful to handle. It's laminated after it's been printed so it's protected and that's my favorite choice out of the three. But also you can laminate the gloss and matte either with gloss or pearl lamination. So it's entirely up to you how you do. There's leather covers, there's uh, uh, linen covers and the, the option is quite big.